My name is Short and Funball on YouTube. My witch's name is Earth Night Wolf, and I will be showing you a witch bottle of for protection. You will need about four items, but you'll see what I mean in a second. So basically, you need a jar. It could be either corked or it could be like this. So you would need this. It doesn't matter what size. I would recommend this one because you would have to seal it with a black handle. Um, you also need, I can show you, three razor blades. Just be really careful because you can cut yourself. It doesn't matter if it's rusty or not. Just three razor blades. Three shards of broken glass. I do not recommend you breaking it because it could cause karma and it can come back on you. So if you end up breaking something, just grab these real quick. It doesn't matter if it's uh, clear or not. So there's these. And then you would also need, kind of small, uh, three rusty nails. It doesn't matter what size, as long as they're nails and they're rusty. I wouldn't recommend getting the one, if you're trying to rust any nails, if you can't find any, to get the one with the coating on it to prevent it from rusting because then there would be no point. So, three rusty nails, doesn't matter what size. And the final thing you'll need, well, not the final thing, you would need a black handle big enough to be able to coat the top of the jar, just seal it. And then you would need also red wine. Um, and then you would have to put in your DNA. I've heard that you can also, I've, sorry, I heard that you, people also put three drops of blood and urine in it, which I do not recommend doing. Uh, three drops of blood definitely because it's your life source. And I heard if you do a hex on somebody or you curse anybody, the only way to stop that curse is to kill the person who did the spell. And urine would get everywhere, so I just recommend the red wine and the spit. So basically, you gather this stuff, and I'm looking at the screen because I have it on the screen, so that's why I'm looking away. Um, you would find a small jar, then you well, the first two things, and as you're putting this stuff in, you repeat the saying um, nails, glass, blades, wine, in this witch's bottle of mine. Guard against harm and enemies. This is my will, so mote it be. So visualize as you're doing this, and when the jar is full, you pour in the red wine. After pouring in the red wine, you would spin it three times to add your personal DNA, and you put the cap or the cork, and then you would put the candle, you would light it with, you know, supervision. I wouldn't recommend doing it somewhere where it could cause any damage. So I recommend, you know, maybe outside, maybe on top of newspaper. Uh, adult, if you're going to do this, please have an adult with you present. Um, you would drip the candle wax on top of this and cover it completely to seal it. It will take a while and it's pretty messy, so just be careful. Um, okay, then after this, you would bury it in the farthest corner of your property. Right now, the reason why I can't finish this spell is because it's currently my ground is frozen as stone, <laughs> so you know. So basically, I have to wait until it's spring, which will be pretty soon, and you basically bury it into the farthest part of your property, or if you have an apartment, you could bury it in a pot of plants, you could bury it, you could store it outside, on the balcony, windowsill, anywhere safe, outside the premises. So if you're not going to bury it, just make sure you put the banishing uh, pentagram. There is two pentagrams that I'm going to talk about. There's other ones, there's the element ones, but the two pentagrams that I'm going to talk about is there is a invoking, and then there's a banishing. You would want to do the banishing one. So if you're not going to bury it, just put the banishing one on top, and you should be good to go if you're not going to bury it. So you're going to take this into the farthest corner of your property if you're going to bury it, and then you draw the banishing uh, pentagram on top, and basically the witch's bottle destroys any negativity, e any evil, the na um, the nails and the razors basically impale the evil, the negativity, and the hexes, and the glass reflects all negative in, harm, in harm's way. And attracting it to the jar and trapping it in there, so any negativity will get impaled by the razors and the nails, and the glass will make it reflect and basically not go towards you, and the jar, the jar with the wine, sorry, the wine will make it will drown it. So, um, 
so yeah, that's basically it. Um, like I said, the reason why I'm not going to finish is because it's too cold outside. And if you move whatsoever from your apartment, from anywhere, you have to basically take this, like if you're in your apartment, you have to take this and bring it to your place. If you can bury it, you have to rebury it again and put the banishing pentagram. But if you're not going to bury it, just put the pentagram again and you're fine. Just make sure no one ends up finding this and opening it because you will end up having to do it again. So I hope that helps. Uh, like, I'm sa like I said, my name is Short and Funnable. My witcher's name is Earth's Night Wolf, and I hope you guys have a pleasant day, and blessed be.